Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was supposed to have recorded this video like two weeks ago, and then um, I, life just happened. Let me say that. Let me say that. You know, like how you, you don't know how time goes by. Sometimes time just goes by so quickly. <laughs> And so my apologies and then um i was in naivasha this weekend with my sisters which was so much fun my goodness i genuinely definitely needed the whole of yesterday to just rest so thank you thank you for bearing with me thank you teddy for calling me out because yeah i should have done this a long time ago so anyway when i went to naivasha it gave me actually you know i I was thinking about the fact that there were so many, um, you know, videos and memes trending all around of people talking about, you know, cheating, about going with other people's girlfriends and other people's boyfriends. It's Subaru, Subaru boys and someone else's girlfriend. Like there were so many jokes out there and it was very, it was funny, but it made me think, you know, like, why is dating so bad in Kenya? Why, why is it being in a relationship is so hard in Kenya right now? And... The reality of it all is the fact that we made it that way. We allowed it. We allowed it to get to the point that you literally know that your boyfriend or your girlfriend is going somewhere to cheat. And it's okay. And you, you're going somewhere with someone's girlfriend or someone's boyfriend and it's okay to cheat. And it's, it's like, it's just so crazy that even, even you know, this, this whole casual thing that we're doing now, people are, are not they don't want to be in a relationship but i but, but they just want casual relationships what is a casual relationship how do you open up yourself the most intimate part of yourself to someone and then you call that casual and you expect there not to be any feelings you don't want there to be any drama like why why do you want to do that like how is that even fun you know casual is not fun the best the best part of of sex to be honest is is when it's there's emotion involved when it's intimate but when you're just hooking up with a stranger what do you expect of course the dating scene is going to be horrible so why is dating so bad why are marriages so bad why are things so bad when it comes to the love aspect of of a lot of kenyans and i know it happens a lot a lot around the world we are to blame we are the people who have accepted or who have made dating what it is today it's a mess and we are responsible for it. So until we start taking responsible, I mean, until we start, we, we start taking responsibility for our actions, there's no way it's going to change. It's just going to keep being messy and keep getting messier. Yeah? So people need to start holding themselves accountable for this nonsense that we're doing right now called dating. For the infidelity that is happening in marriages and relationships. It's, it's not a normal thing, but we, we've taken it like it's a normal thing. But it's not. It's not. It is your responsibility as a human being to be faithful to your spouse, to, to whatever relationship that you're in at that certain time. It is your responsibility. Don't say that, oh, you know, all men cheat, they, the men love sex more than women. No. If you're unhappy, have a conversation about it. Try and fight for your relationship. If that doesn't work, leave your relationship. Stop cheating. I have said this before already. Hurt people hurt people. A lot of people around the world right now are so hurt and they're just going to the next relationship planning to hurt the next person. And so now everyone is just hurting each other. And it's unnecessary. So we need to look inward and we need to take responsibility for the mess that the dating scene is right now. You know? So, yeah. That is all. I wish y'all a lovely week ahead. And mm, eat a lot. <laughs>